ponder in your, in, in your mind, um, what is inflation? Most people cannot answer what inflation is. They just know what the feeling is. Inflation hurts. The average family right now is spending over $500 a month just to live. That's what the goods and services that, that right now are, are costing more. You know, those that know me know that I drink too much soda. I, I like soda. I drink, that's my advice. And um, it's bad for me. Yes, I know that. <laughs> and so, but, um, but I drink too much soda. And I mean, crud, I'm over at Panera the other day, getting a bagel and getting a soda. And the soda was $4 and 29 cents. I'm like, holy cow, I'm not buying soda there again. But anyway, goods and services cost more. Now, when we look at what is the definition of inflation, it is a decline in buying power of currency over time. What does that mean? Um, it's kind of like the rule of 72. The rule of 72, when you're looking at investing, what does that mean? So I've just, I've dumbed it down for myself uh, to where I can understand it better because I really don't understand a decline in the buying power of currency over time. I understand what that means, but it's hard for me to really articulate that. However, what I tell clients is it is the exact opposite of the laws of supply and demand. It is too much money in the market chasing too few of goods. That's really what inflation is. Too much money in the market chasing too few of goods. So if you look back at, at the laws of supply and demand, we lived the laws of supply and demand just not too long ago with housing. And, you know, we had much more demand than we had supply. Hence, a lot of our clients had to pay 10, 20, $50,000 over asking. But we had clients that offered 70 plus thousand, 80 plus thousand over asking and didn't get the house. We are going back to that market. That's why I say this is the perfect storm, I think, right now to purchase a home. And we don't have very long to get our clients in a house before that market starts to come back. And I'll prove that to you. So again, what is inflation? It is the exact opposite of the laws of supply and demand. It is really that there's too much money in the market. So who put all that money in the market? We're gonna talk about. And it's chasing too few of goods. Let's talk about inflation as we look at it from 1955. Inflation has been relatively tame um, with the exception through 1970, you know, through the 70s and the 80s, which we all we all know about, we all hear about the horror stories, but it's been relatively tame up through 2020, um, with the exception of the last year and a half or so. Uh, 